君は、ね、確かにあの時私のそばにいたいつだっていつだっていつだってすぐ横で笑っていたなくしても取り戻す君を I will never leave you Alright, guys, and welcome back to the finale of Persona 3 Portable. Now, we defeated Nyx, and no one ever. It looks like no one seems to remember the freaking anything, even Junpei. None of, no one in our group remembers anything that happened last year. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I guess we, somebody has to remember in our group. It's either I guess or me. Well, I, of course, I remember everything, because I'm a pimp. But anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and talk to Junpei. No matter what, ha what people say, a lot happened this year. Nothing is coming to mind, but I know we did something huge. How can I forget something so important? Oh man, I'm getting a headache. Dude, what the hell did we do this whole year? <laughs> Kenji, what up? What's up, Naru? Dude, I got a super important announcement to make. Wanna hear? Okay, here it goes. And this is just between you and me, okay? Next year, there are three fine looking women teachers coming in. After、M、I mean, Miss Kano leaves, there's no spark to the faculty roster, right? Miss Toriyumi has the weird secret she refuses to tell anyone. <laughs> Miss Onishi is obsessed with medicine. Miss Toriyushi is like going to India or something. I mean, come on. Even our nurse is a guy. Even if he's good at his job, nurses are supposed to be girls. He's ruining my lifelong dream to fake sick, ditch class, and chat with the hot nurse. You okay, dude? You're not looking so good. You should be, see the nurse, but、uh, I'm not going with you, dude. Oh, oh, and I heard there's new teachers are coming by today to check out the campus. I'm thinking about hanging around the faculty office to scope out. Wanna come? Alright. Wise decision, old sir Naru. See, starting next year, we can choose our home room. So we gotta make sure we choose the right one if you catch my drift. <laughs> Wait a minute, oh crap. Today's not March 3rd, is it? It is March 3rd. Shit. Sorry, man, I gotta get lost before she gets here. Who's she? My little sis, she'll be coming here starting next year, but she's gonna swing by today and look around. I'm not gonna be her damn toy guy. I don't wanna lead her around by the hand where everyone can see. I wish I had an older sister instead. Well, whatever, I'm just gonna jet. Later, s Naru.、Huh, I wonder what his sister looks like. Mack it up with his sis. You can do whatever you want, so long as you get her out of my way. Does that mean you become my younger brother? Hmm, maybe not. Yeah, forget that plan later. What the hell? I guess I should try talking to all the people I made relationships with. Oh, hey, Naru, are you leaving now? Me too. At least I want to, but I got somewhere to be. I'll come with you. What? No way. Well, no,、nah, I can't. I'm going to the public library. Honestly, I hardly ever read in a school library. I'm studying sports medicine, so I really don't have time today. Sorry about that. But since we're here together, why don't we talk for a while? Want to walk with me to the entrance at least? Well, I'll be going now. Come on, let's go out. Jesus, you know I can't. <laughs> Remember what I told you before about finding my dream? I never had anything like that until now, so I've been slacking off. Honestly, my grades suck. It's tough to get them back up. That's why I need to try hard. I seriously want to have fun with you. Cross my heart. I want to be with you. 
I kinda want to feel you too. Ooh, you wanna feel me? She feel me, but she feel me, but she can't feel me. That sucks. But I gotta be patient, that's what I keep telling myself. I wanna take my dream into my own hands and stand next to you with my head held high. I wanna walk alongside you. You just watch, I'll charm the pants off you. Ooh, you ain't gotta charm nothing right now. <laughs> You'll fall in love with me all over again. Just kidding. See, I really need to be patient. You know the saying, beer tastes better after an honest day's work, right? That's just what I mean. If we're patient now and cool off for a while, then later on. Oh, uh, you idiot. Look what you're making me say. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm trying to say. I'll see you later. Let's go out sometime soon. Alright, sure. Alright, cool. So is this like the last day of school for some of these people? It's the nurse's office. It's locked. Let's check out the faculty office. Miss Toriyumi's voice from within. Go inside? Yes. Miss Toriyumi and Mrs. Teruchi are talking. Anyway, you've been different lately, Miss Toriyumi. You look more and more like a professional. Your lesson the other day intrigued me too. It seems like you spent a lot of time preparing it. I've never seen you so passionate about teaching before. It's unparalleled. Unparalleled. Yes, I've been studying more than just making preparations lately. Things like how to communicate the lessons I want to teach. But it does seem odd that I start now, though. The thing is, I always I decided to stop wasting my time, always living only in the present. How wonderful! I'm impressed by your change of heart. What brought this on? Well, when I was just goofing off one week and I met someone, so I took a closer look at my life. That person, well, was it? Yes, it, it, it must have been a person. Ah, yes, I understand. I must. I myself once went through a similar epiphany. Now that I think about it, I met my darling husband thanks to a destiny called fate. <laughs> a destiny called fate? <laughs> Isn't that like the same thing? <laughs> Isn't that like saying my headache hurts? <laughs> I love Miss Toriyumi. Anyway, isn't that a harsh thing to say to a single girl like me? <laughs> well, if you uh, excuse me. The teachers seem busy. You decide to leave. Yeah, Ishigaki. Is everything okay? Do you need something? You don't look well. Maybe you should visit the nurses. Oh, you dropped something. Was it my cell phone? Oh, she, she's gonna see the data! It seems Miss Notorium noticed the wallpaper on it. This? This? No, no, no. Our cell phones aren't allowed at school. <laughs> that screen. Read down with I love you. My. What a charming confession of love. Did you make this in the room? It was from my online girlfriend. Let's say that. <laughs> you know, let's say it was from my online girlfriend. Online girlfriend. Never mind that. What was going on? Why would now record that a screen cap? Don't tell me you got it online, but the only people who were on the servers were. <laughs> no way! It can't be! <laughs> She's blushing. Is this a joke? No! <laughs> Miss Terry started flipping out. Calm down, Miss Terry. You need help. Someone call me a doctor. No, don't tell me you're a Tetsuya. I said all that to you? I. I no, 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 this is bad. No. Miss Terry took her flipping out to a whole new level. <laughs> Miss Toriyumi is crying. This can't be happening. Calm down. I quit this school. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm never coming back. Oh, I wish I was dead. Just kill me now. <laughs> Please calm down. Hello, Maya. <laughs> then you really are. <laughs> I... I'm Maya. I am Maya. I'm Maya, damn it. You got a problem with that? You don't... <laughs> Why don't you say something? Jeez, you idiot. This is so embarrassing. Miss Tori threw the phone she was holding at you. <laughs> Calm down. But there was one thing I wanted to say if we ever made face to face. I. It was thanks to you that I was able to turn my life around. I'm so grateful. Ugh. Now wipe that smile off your face. I'll wipe it off for you with my fist. <laughs> um, if you don't mind. If you, if you don't mind. Uh, maybe we could have dinner. 
We <laughs> said through the dictionary she was holding at you. What the hell? I didn't even answer. What the hell was this? Miss Toriyumi ran away. It's okay, Toriyumi. I really like you. <laughs> oh my god. That was probably one of the funniest moments in this game yet. Right, let's talk to Mitsuru. Well, what's the matter? You don't look well. Make sure you get some rest, Naru. I apologize. I meant, of course, the Shigaki. If you don't mind, can we go somewhere to talk? I have some business to take care of. But I want to be with you until then. Sure. Let's go to the student council room. I'd like to see it once more before I graduate. Is it going to be voiced? Gekugan High School Student Council. This room brings back memories. I was only away for a little while due to the exams. The results haven't been posted yet, but I don't have any doubts that I passed. This spring, I formally become a university student. So this will be my last chance to view that from here. I don't have much time today. All the members of the head family are gathering for a briefing session. The Carrillo group looks strong right now, but it's actually very pro. It could collapse at any time. But stay strong. Mitsuri seems a little tired. Can I help? <laughs> Shoko, of course you can. In fact, it's something only you can do. Who else will be help me react if I become exhausted? <laughs> Who else will lend a shoulder when I need support? If you can think of anyone else, let me know. <laughs> Soon I'll be saying my farewells to this dinner. I've been slowly packing up my things, but it's not going well. Everything brings back memories. A book, a book, a picture, a piece of clothing, on and on. My senior year seemed short, but very full. It went by so quickly. Especially after you arrived. Anytime I pass you in the dump or speak with you, I thought my heart would burst. I never knew I had such feelings inside. If you hadn't come to this school, I wonder what it would have been become of me. If I had met you, would I have accepted my arranged marriage? Or would I have gotten on my motorcycle one day, driven off, and never returned? Fate is a mysterious thing. But there's no use dwelling on the past. I have, a, I have things that must be done to secure a future for the Kurijo group and myself. You can be a part of the future too, Naru. Do you understand? Come visit the Kurijo head family sometime. Don't worry, it's just to say hello. I want them to get used to your face. <laughs> it's almost time, I have to be on my way. I wish we could see each other back at the dorms, but I'll be late tonight. Maybe this weekend? Just the two of us, of course. Oh, see you. <laughs> oh, look, Fook is right outside. Oh, Naru, are you okay? You look so pale. Maybe you should see the nurse. Oh, why don't I go with you? I'm going to the faculty office, and the nurse's office is next door. I want to be by your side as much as I can. Go with her. I'm so happy to go with you. Let's go then. Oh. This is actually the first time we walk side by side in school, huh? I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Yamagishi, what are you doing outside the faculty office? I, I want to start a teach cl a tech club. Tech gloves? You mean technician gloves? Well, I think you have to go to a hardware store for those. No, I, I mean tech. <laughs> Not tech gloves, a tech club. Like a, a club all about technology and electronics? You want to start a club? Why is Yamagishi so troublesome? Well, it's already March. Can't you at least wait until April? But I really want to get started on it now. I'll do my best to find members. So uh, do I have your permission to start a club? What? You mean to say you don't even have members yet? This isn't even worth discussing. You can't have a member without at least five... Uh, you can't have a club without at least five members. Now then. If you please excuse me, I must go brush my toupee. <laughs> oh, he's gone. It looks like I need to find five people. <clears throat> Naru, would you like to join my tech club? Of course. I'm so glad. I was hoping you would say that. I thought liking electronics made me strange. I always kept it to myself because I thought it was strange for a girl to be interested in that. But if you can accept me for being this way, I don't want to hide it anymore. No more pretending to be someone else's friend. I decided to become strong and let everyone know who I am. Even if people think I'm strange, that's okay. I'll have you with me, so there's nothing to be scared of. I want to meet lots of people like me and hang out with them. I kept my love of electronics hidden, so I never had any friends who shared my interest. That's why I thought I'd start a club all about it. <clears throat> Maybe other people like that sort of thing as well. If so, I want a way to talk to them. 
But I admit, it, may, it makes me a little nervous, but I'll still keep coming to music. I'll be busy, but it's important to, that I do this well. It's like jumping off the diving board at the pool, that's how it feels. <clears throat> hey, Naru? You're staying music next year too, right? I want to stay in whatever club you're in. I want to be in the same home room too. I want to see you more of you at the home dorm. I just want to be with you more in general. I've been saying more a lot. <laughs> I hope you don't think I'm taking advantage of your kindness. Hey, can you say... Can you, you can say whatever you want to me, okay? I might not be reliable, but I, I want to get to know you better. I want to get closer to you. I get to hurry and find some club members. I need to make some posters and things too. Well, see you later. Next time, maybe we can talk about it in my room. Ooh. I really have to go now. Bye. Man, they just make you into a... Like, there was no rules on the Mac Daddy handbook. And this like, you just you just become a Mac Daddy. There's no rules to follow. You just become a Mac Daddy. <laughs> you just Mac it up instantaneously. Alright, who else did I Mac, uh, max out? <laughs> Who's I guess? Alright, so we gotta go to the second floor. Hey, there you go, Shihiro. Oh, Naru, are you okay? You don't look so good. You should get home and rest before it gets worse. What were you gonna say? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, it's, it isn't much, but... Look at this flyer here. The history of passionate lovers. Between teachers and students. People are free to fall in love with each other. There's nothing bad about it. I can see why it would be a problem if it was between a teacher and a student, but that doesn't give them the right to make fun of it like this, right? I'm going to write a protest letter to the school paper. Right on, the hero. Right on. That's actually like Toriyumi. <laughs> I'll be alright on my own. I'll go by myself. Naru, thank you so very much. I made up my mind. It's not much but Next year I want to join the student council too. The thing is that showed me the way to change myself. It was student council in June. So I want to push myself harder. I want to like myself more and I want you to like me more too. I want to be the first one in your thoughts. That's why um I like you. I like you. What am I saying? I can't believe I said something like that at school. I'm so I'm sorry. Please excuse me, but maybe next time we could go home together. Well, if not there, I have a lot of places I like to see. I want to visit each of them with you. Do, 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 do. I like how they went back to this good music. I like this music a lot more. I can't hang out with Junpei? That sucks. Alright, so this one more per- let's see, let's look at our social links. Oh, we can't look at our social links? Alright, I think we talked to everybody we could at school. I didn't really max out a lot of- it was easier to max out social links in Persona 4 Golden because it was- you got done a lot quicker, you know, upgrading your stats like courage and all that stuff. Oh, look, it's Ken. Hello, Naru. I'm glad you're here. I feel awkward coming to high school. Almost forgot. I came here to drop off something Sonata Senpai forgot. He's usually level-headed, but he can be forgetful sometimes. There's something else, too. I brought Aragaki. I remember he was at the dorm for a little while. I never talked to him, but whenever I think of him, I, I, I feel sad, and I don't know why. Like, there's some painful memories I'm missing. I can't remember. All I remember is that I have, some, I have to do something, but what, I don't know. Why would I forget something like that? Sorry about that, I felt so comfortable talking to you that I just went on and on. I like you, Naro. You listen to what people say. And you went to the movies with me instead of treating me like a little kid. Thanks for being nice to me. <laughs> I did go to the movies with them, didn't I? What the hell is I guess? Because, oh, Michael should be here then. Oh, Michael's dad. Hmm, you're Naru, right? I'm Michael's dad. If you have a minute, we can sit and talk for a while. Alright. Mind walking with me alone? I'll buy you some takoyaki. Some takoyaki. But I bet you know that already. <laughs> 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 Alright, 
When I see this place, I remember all the times I come here with Michael. She came here when she ran away from home, too. She really loved the takoyaki. She was a good kid, huh? <laughs> You're right. She's so good that I wonder if she's really my kid sometimes. I got a letter from Michael. It's long and full of details about her new life over there. She says she's made a lot of friends. Let's see, she's in charge of the rabbits at her new school and she has to get up early to clean the cages. They yelled at her for forgetting her PE uniform. She forgot her homework and had to copy a friend. <laughs> I never knew she was that forgetful. Oh, and she did so well at her recorder test that she was actually performing in front of everyone. Then she goes on to talk about how she plays the park. She plays at the park right by the school with her friends every day. Her mother doing well too. They're having a lot of fun. She having fun sounds nice. Nowadays, I come home to an empty house. That the rooms seem so big without them. I don't know if she feels the same way about her house now that there's no dad in it. We put the kid through so much on account of our own problems. I feel terrible about it. Anyway, as for you, oh yeah, I forgot about this part. You little punk. Seems Michael really took a shine to you. She wrote all about you. I can't wait to grow up, Dad. That's why I'm drinking lots of milk. <laughs> I'm going to marry him someday. Um, uh, yeah. What's up with that, you little punk? You were taking advantage of my little Michael, weren't you? Oh no, it's not like that. I'm not a pedophile, sir. Maybe, maybe I haven't been the best dad, but I'm still her father, damn it. I'm not gonna. Look. I'm not letting a guy like you touch Michael with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> Ooh, what the hell? I'll never let you marry her, don't forget. What the hell did he mean by the 10 foot pole? Is he talking about my wang? Michael's dad ran off. Yeah, my wang. About my wang. It's not 10, it's 12. Whoa! Alright, so who else do we need to talk to? Do 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 Poor Island Station. Maybe there's someone here. Do 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 Might as well check around, right? Do 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 Dude, do you remember anything we did this entire year? I just remember chilling here, that's it. I mean I hate to say this, but what a waste of time. <laughs> Do, do, do. Oh, we gotta check out the other one. The turnstiles. What the hell? Oh, they sent me to the town map too. Do 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 do. Hey, let's go to the velvet room. Oh, the door's not here anymore. Ah, that's jacked up. Oh, I can talk to the fat boy. Oh, I, did I even max out fat boy swag? Damn. What was the point of coming to this damn mall? This cat is laying right next to me. He's hungry. <laughs> Alright, so let's go back to the dorm. I guess we've seen, we did everything we could do. We talked to everyone we can talk to. After school, evening time. TV is left on, the news is on. Coming up next, a special report on the Amazing Commodities Corp of the Tanaka's Amazing Commodities Program. President Tanaka's failure to account for certain expenditures, expenditures has, has caused a media stir lately. <laughs> we now join Phil reporting live from the scene. Thank you, Tom. I'm reporting from the Amazing Commodities head office where a swarm of journalists have convened. Word has it that President Tanaka will be coming out shortly to make a statement. The tension in the air can be denied. Thank you. And we'll be looking forward to updates as soon as anything happens. Back to the studio. The unaccounted expedition has sparked a massive investigation. Some theorize that the tax evasion is the cause. Wow. Oh, there's no questions about that. I remind you that this is President Tanaka we're talking about. It's, he tricks his own viewers for a few extra bucks. I bet he slit his mama's throat for a 50 yen piece. Damn. No matter how high his net worth rises, he'll never be satisfied. He's lower than the scum on the earthworm's belly. All that money and no charity's ever seen a dime. Well, I'm sure he's not as bad as all that. 
This just in, something has happened at the scene. President Tanaka has emerged! He's carrying a microphone! It looks like he's gonna sing! Grant it of your desire! Hi everyone, amazing commodities! It's here for you year round, ran to shine! We have a monopoly of the cheapest, highest quality goods. Our customers' ecstatic experience cause noise popul pollution. Our stocks rise so high there, it has it the birds, and we make losers every day out of people who don't buy. We're the only miracle left in this sad, desolate world. That's the amazing commodities guarantee. We look forward to your business. Damn! He just drove off. Oh, he's gone. What the hell are you doing? You call yourself a journalist? If you can't get one lousy comment. Comment out of him is as good as free advertising. We'll have to interrupt you there, as we just received the facts. It's from President Tanaka. The message reads, "Hi, right, this is Tanaka, the best friend your pocketbook ever had. This is my pocketbook is, and what's in my pocketbook is my own business. It's not my, it's not my company's money. So what is it to them how I use it? But let me make one thing clear. I'm not ashamed of a single thing." My conscience is clear. Dear viewers, so buy my product guilt free. Amazing commodities here for you year round. Rain or shine. Buy now or drown in bitter tears. Ha! <laughs> Tanaka is pretty cool. Apparently, he had no intentions of revealing his use for the funds. Has this Tanaka no shame? Just because he made some money for himself doesn't mean he can toy with the common man's emotions. As self appointed representative Joe Q. Oh my god. Thanks very much as we wrap up our special report. With no new clues as to how the funds have been used, we could only hope that they went to humanitarian purposes. Oh my god, that's a long ass. I don't even care. <laughs> that report was just a report that I don't care. All is quiet. It doesn't seem like the others have returned yet. They all must be enjoying their peaceful evening. Even though you've just returned from school, you are feeling very tired. You should go to sleep early tonight. I think I will. What's on TV? News up next, another look at the mysterious apathy syndrome. As of last month, all patients have been covered and there's been no further recorded cases. Nice. That very nice. A very nice video. <laughs> Alright. Can I go to the girls room? Wait, there's no command room? Wow. Wow. What is this room? They forgot about the command room? What the hell? You carry this just even no, she's not in there. Fuka. I guess. Let's go to my room. The mirror reflects your regular face. What's on the calendar? Graduation is on Friday. So, uh, apparently that was not going to be the end of that. So, I'm going to go ahead and split the part here. And I might edit it in depending on what happens. But, yeah, I didn't think that all that was going to take that long. So, anyway, I'm going to take a short break and I will be back shortly. Alright, guys, and welcome back to more Persona 3 Portable. Hell, this might be cl clipped together with the other part you just seen. But, anyway, let's go to bed and get some good sleep. What the? We get another day? Hey, something's been bothering me. Who used to sit in that empty seat? That was... You don't remember either, huh? It was driving me nuts. I remember! How they gonna make the player forget when I obviously know it was Ryoji? Come on now. Ah! The pop filter! The pop filter! Okay, here we go. All right, I can fuck this pot filter. No, no, stop it, pot filter. There we go. All right, can you hear me? Okay, I'm so sorry for that, guys. The pot filter keeps fucking up. But anyway, let's scroll to school. What the hell? What, what's the point of walking around today? Like, we can't build any relationships, so we can't do anything else. So what's the point of these days? I don't really understand why they would want us to walk around still. Like, what's the point? They should have just ended the game instead of having this empty day. 
this is like a complete empty day right now. Cause I'm not looking. Like I don't find. I didn't find anybody. Let's go. What's the point? What was the point of these days, man? They should have just ended the game. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the mall. Maybe the fat kid's there today. Nope. Anyway, let's go to the dorm. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Wait. Is, t is today graduation day? Because <clears throat> maybe they want me to go on top of the roof of the... Uh, Gekigan High School. Let's go to high school again and go on top of the roof. Do 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 do. The rooftop. All right, so let's just go. Let's go back to the dorm. I have no clue why they want us to walk around for no reason. Hey, who's that? Middle-aged lady, hello there. Who the hell is that? You must be... By any chance, is your name Naru? Yes? I see, so you're Naru. I'm Mrs. Kamiki. Akinari's mother. My son talked about you a lot. Whoa, she looks like him now that I think about it. I was just thinking about him. If you could... If you have time, could you sit here and talk about him with me? Okay. That's wonderful. Please sit down. Today's a special day. What a coincidence seeing you today. It must be another of God's tricks. Today is my son's Akinari's birthday. He'd be 20 if he was still alive. Only 19 years. It wasn't long enough. He was almost an adult, but he never made it. He had a generic disease. Me, I'm healthy as a horse, but him? The doctors detected it, detected it at birth. They knew he wouldn't live to see adulthood. Every day I wondered if he'd wake up in the morning. I blame myself for, <clears throat> for knowing he inherited, but... He said something to me near the end. I'm sorry to have brought so much pain to your life, mother. I'm glad to have been given... To have been given life. I'm glad to have been your son. Thank you so much for the life you have given me. That's what he said. He was the one who suffered so much, and yet he said that to me. I don't know, but you're kind of hot. <laughs> His mom's kind of hot. <laughs> but my son brought me a lot of joy, too. Holding his warm body in my arms just after he was born. Those tiny hands, that first smile. Hearing him breathe easily at night. Every day I gave thanks for being alive. Every day I found new joy in him. And now I'm so lonely and there's nothing I can do. But my boy gave me so much that I have to keep on going, looking straight ahead. That's how I feel. I'll eat the finest foods, visit the most exotic places, everything my boy can never do. I'll have so many stories to tell him about the things I've done on that, on the, on that day when we meet again on the other side. If I didn't have to, if I didn't have that to look forward to, I don't know what I could go on. That reminds me, when my son's condition worsened, he started writing a fable. But when I was cleaning out his room, I never found a notebook. He said he was going to show it to you first when he was done. I asked, why not me? And he laughed and said, you'll be the second one to see it, Mom. I suppose he wasn't able to finish the story. He did finish it. What? So he was able to give you the notebook? You explained how you... You explained how you received the notebook from Akinar and that you heard the entire story from him. I see. I'm so glad that was my only regret. It was awful to think that he wasn't able to finish the project. I see. You should hold on to that notebook. I'm sure that's what my boy would want to... <sighs> I'll wait for him and tell it... I'll wait for him to tell it to me himself when I see him again. Now I have something else to look forward to. Miss Kamiki stood up quietly. I'm glad you and I could finally meet. Thank you. There's one piece of advice I'd like to give you as an old lady to a young man. You don't look that old, you still look pretty hot. <laughs> Take care of the good of the ones dearest to you. And if you want if you wait until their time has come and you're clinging to their cold bodies, then it's too late. Everyone who's born will die someday. Not just Akinar or me or you. This happens to everyone. So before that happens, if you it doesn't take a grand gesture 
We don't have to make a big production of it, but if you love someone, let them know. We all go through life with the same struggles, the same heartbreak. We should be able to prop each other up with their love and kindness as well. I'm sure you have something precious you can share with people. Yeah, I call it my dick. But anyway, <laughs> I can't share that with guys. That'd be kind of weird. But anyway, I can share it with the girl. <laughs> but anyway, I guess we got. <clears throat> I guess we gotta try to find out everybody we hung out with. So I gotta try to find the fat kid. I think he'll probably be at be eating somewhere, right? I'm sure he'll be eating something. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> All right, so we gotta find um, Nozumi or whatever. He might be at school. Oh, I don't know where Nozomi is. You know that makes no sense to me. Why does it show the velvet room right here? But look at it, it's nothing. What the fuck? It shows the velvet room from this. <laughs> no, let's leave it alone. Is this fat kid? Damn it, it's not. So we gotta try to find this last freaking socialing, and I guess that's what, how we progress this, the end of the game. <clears throat> <sighs> okay. So I can't find the fat kid. And honestly, if I can't find him, I'm just gonna keep going to sleep until the game ends. I already checked the roof, so... See, look at that. I almost quit the game on accident. Alright, let's go to the dorm and go to sleep. You are feeling tired. You can't... You can't keep your eyes open. You should rest. Tomorrow is senior graduation day. No one seems to be here. Alright, let's go to sleep. <sighs> Graduation day, your room. Yo. It's me, I guess. Come on in. May I please come in? Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. So am I. I remember everything. Me too. Everyone seems to have forgotten, but I remember that day we... <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. It's just that when I remembered... I was afraid you might go somewhere far away, like you did at the last battle. That won't happen, I'm here now. Graduation's today, isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. Such nice weather outside. Do you remember? The promise we all made? Why don't we go there and wait for the others? We can enjoy the view of this peaceful city. Thank you. Will this finally conclude the game or will they still have me walk around? Meanwhile, Gekugan High School Auditorium. <clears throat> the time to part has finally come. Though this is our last day together, we want the senior class to know that you've truly earned our respect. What does that sound like, Misuki? 
We wish each of you good health, happiness, and prosperity. That is Nasuki. Why did they... She came back to school or what? On this auspicious occasion, I bid you all a fond farewell on behalf of the student body. Ain't no one standing up there. It's an invisible body. They should at least should have like, something rendered up there. Next, a word from the valedictorian. This is real bad. From Class D, Mitsuru Kurijo. Thank you. Of course, she's the Valley Victorian. Okay. There we go. They finally rendered this last somebody. Year, I accepted an important responsibility as student council president. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. Well, it must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you may know, my father unexpectedly... He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. Sudden illness? Wow, that's rare. I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. The students began to buzz. Uh-oh. With the group, a handful of students stood up. <laughs> I... We... Huh? Wait. Wasn't I supposed to... Oh, I... I... That's right. I remember now. Our promise. I remember. Yes. Upon my father's death, I was set adrift in life. No longer will I run from the future. I will face it head on, in memory of my father's will. I am resolved, free from doubt or hesitation. This is because... It is because I have such wonderful, such priceless friends. Mitsuru! We... We swore to each other never to lose hope, no matter what tomorrow brings. After shouting that, Mitsuru leaped from the stairs to rejoin everyone. Yeah! Senpai, we remember about him and Igus. Yes, of course. Let's go, everyone. <laughs> we were the only ones Where waiting. You think you're going? We're in the middle of a ceremony. Fuck you, old man. We made a promise. We ain't broken this promise. Meanwhile, on the roof of the high school, the warm sunlight and gentle wind feels good on your resting body. I guess it's sitting close to where you're lying. The wind feels so nice. This is my first time experiencing spring, but this season will eventually pass. After fighting alongside you and facing the world's end, I finally began to understand what it means to live. Thinking for yourself, not running away, accepting the inevitable, all things eventually come to an end. Every living thing will one day disappear. Only by accepting this can one discover what they truly want, what the meaning of their life will be. I understand now why I was so tormented by my lack of strength. Protecting others became more than just an order I had to obey. I wanted to do it for my own reasons. Mm -hmm. I realized this once I decided to try and prevent the fall. When I thought I might never see you again, something else became clear to me. What I wanted most. And so, I made up my mind. I decided that I would continue to protect you. I want to be your strength. I know I'm not the only one who can do this, but that's okay. <laughs> my life will be worth living if it's for this reason. <laughs> Thank you. No cry. You're right. What am I doing? I understand now. So I should be happy. Hey! Oh, I hear Vic Mignana! Everyone! I realize now that I have friends as well. You don't have to save the world to find meaning in life. Sometimes, all you need is something simple, like someone to take care of. 
I'll keep on living no matter what, so that I can protect you. Argus is smiling gently. The gentle spring sunlight warms your body. The cheering you hear from afar, the slightly chin will. <laughs> this is the world you and your friends protected. You feel a little sleepy. Thank you. For everything. Damn, why do I always feel sleepy? I must be a lazy motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Ah oh, man. You're tired, aren't you? You can close your eyes. I'll always remain here by your side. You can hear footsteps and several familiar voices drawing near. The others will be here soon. The sun, the bright sunlight and Igis' voice softly overlap. You're getting sleepier. Your eyelids feel heavy. I want to see everyone last one last time. No. No. Don't worry. I'll always protect you. What the fuck? The, the game just ended? I fell asleep? That's how the game ends? That's how you feel? That's how you feel, game? You just gonna make me go to sleep for the rest of my life? Well, I guess we beat the game. It took me about six months, but I did it. <laughs> it took me about six months to beat this game, but I did it. I started this as a side project, and then it kind of just blew up thanks to Persona 4 Ghost. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Man, I feel like there was, some, there was something more to be happening. I feel like there's something more. There's got to be more to that story. How you just gonna end it like that? Well, at least I can say this, in Persona games, the music will, will always at least be good. Like, I don't think... The, the soundtrack in this one was just as good as Persona 4 Golden. I think I prefer Golden's soundtrack, though, because it had a lot more track that I could uh, jam out to. But this soundtrack wasn't bad at all, either. The soundtrack was kicking ass, too. I did everything possible. Well, not everything. I didn't max out all the social links, but I did almost every optional quest that there was. Re even the freaking ridiculous Elizabeth fight, even the ridiculous freaking Vort uh, the vision quest stuff. Like, once you get used to that stuff, man, it, it becomes a lot more bearable, I guess. But still, that the freaking quest was just... Them optional quests, dude. <sighs> they, they optional. I, I, I could have not did them. But to me, I, I need to do them all. <laughs> I like completing games to the finish. Even if it's the side quest. But whatever, I'm just gonna jam out. I'm gonna listen and jam out and shut up. Shoji Maguro, yeah! Shoji! Do the original theme, burn my dread. TV no cute. Brand new days. So brand new days was actually in this game first. 
Cerberus <laughs> Core model voiced by Aaron Paul or or bitch bitch <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Naoto! Oh, I was about to say, Naoto helped manage this game! Naoto should have got it! Is that Shinzi Fushona? I wonder how it would have turned out for the girls. <laughs> I wonder how this game would have turned out on the girls' uh, story. I wonder if it kept it the same or if they changed anything for the ending. Is there anything after the ending, I wonder? It has to be. They can't just end it like that. Save new cycle data. Why not? Yo, that ending... That ending, man, that didn't make any sense to me. Some data from the previous cycle will be carried over to the new game. If you load this file and restart, be aware that you will lose your old data if you overwrite it with the new cycle data. Regardless, I'll save it to a new slot anyway. Clear data. So that is the end of Persona 3 Portable of this playthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. I did, until the optional boss fights kicked in, but after the optional boss fight, I thoroughly enjoyed it again. <laughs> dun, dun. Let's close out with the opening. Once again, guys, I want to thank you all for finishing this playthrough with me. I am so glad because now I can just finish Nino Kuni. I can just just focus on Nino Kuni, and this is gonna be great because I absolutely love Nino Kuni. And what I'm going to do off camera, if you don't know, um, Mog Mog actually lent me his uh, his save files. He actually uh, shared his save files with me. And I'm actually going to check out the female path. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check out the female main character stuff after this. I'm actually going to check out like all his saves and what they did differently. I'm not sure if I'm going to record it. Because, man, it's been a lot. It's been a lot of work to record this whole playthrough with Persona 3 Portable. 
But I am going to check out the female. And if I like it, I might start a new playthrough with just a female in the future. In the future, I might just do a female run of this game. And then I, I'm, I'm probably not going to do the answer. I'm going to check it out, but I might not do the answer. Because I know that there's the answer. I'm not sure what it the answer does. I'm not sure if it clarifies what the fuck happened at the ending of this game. Because I was kind of confused. Like, what the hell? It didn't make any sense. Did I die? Did I go to sleep? What the fuck happened? But anyway, I will see you guys next time for whatever I play next. <laughs> so next time, guys. Peace out.